Ma'am, thank you so much for joining us on India Decides on NDTV. You've thank you so much, Nidhi. You've completed one year in office, and uh, it's been quite a year. Your predecessor, uh, Mr. Chatterjee, would often be visibly exasperated with having to deal with the unruly MPs. But what's your experience been like, if you had to sum it up? Well, uh, first let me tell you and place it on record that I have great regards for my predecessor. Uh, but so far as my experience is concerned, I would say it was challenging. Every day was a learning experience. And uh, sometimes we found very, very difficult, almost impossible moments, and I didn't know how we'll go ahead. But we found some way with the cooperation of our honorable members, and we went ahead. That's a diplomatic way of putting it, challenging. <laughs> There's a vital issue right now in the country, which has really divided the country and divided the government and divided the Congress party, and that is the issue of the caste census. What is your view on that? Do you believe that we should uh, you know, in include caste in the census at all? Look, uh, I have uh, always worked towards a casteless society. So we should... Uh, uh, at one point, I don't know when that would arrive. At one point in time, we should be able to do away with these discriminations based on the caste system and the caste system itself. So anything that leads to that, I would endorse. But do you think that uh, by including caste in the census, uh, that would uh, further uh, perhaps magnify that discrimination or, or is that you know part of the reality we live in or as Ajay Markan says uh, it, it takes away from more vital issues like development and, and, and other issues that particularly young politicians should be focusing on. Yeah, uh, there are so many differences of opinion on that. Uh, well, I would uh, again say that the ultimate aim of our country, of our uh, founding fathers of the Constitution of all of us has been to uh, to establish a casteless, classless society. Anything which leads to that, which would take us further in that direction, is welcome by me. But does a caste census take us in that direction? In you think that uh, I I would not uh, like to you know in, go into detail and comment on it because I don't think uh, as a speaker I should be doing that. But uh, as uh, somebody who's committed to a casteless society, I would like to uh, really uh, um, support any, any measure towards that. Ma'am, what about the Women's Reservation Bill? Do you, do you think that this bill will realistically uh, see life in the Lok Sabha, given everything with the politics, the complications? Yes. Uh, uh, let's see, because, um, you know, it was hanging fire for 12 years, it ran, ran into bad weather, and uh, the, it last, last session it was uh, passed by the Rajya Sabha, which is a major step forward. But for it to come to Lok Sabha and to be passed here, I think it's very important for the various parties, all the parties, to arrive at a consensus. That's really important. And, and, and therefore, you acknowledge that it's a much bigger challenge in the Lok Sabha to get this bill through? It is a much bigger challenge to arrive at a consensus. Once there is a consensus, then there's no problem. So, so in other so words... the parties will have to work at a consensus. So it, it cannot be pushed through the way it was in the Rajya Sabha, as, as some parties were unhappy about. Uh, well, uh, you know... Uh, Lok Sabha has a large number of uh, MPs, more parties, and it is more articulate and vocal because of the number. So I think it, is, it will be important to have a consensus. And you'd rather not be bringing marshals into the house to remove any MP on this, I suppose? Well, I don't really like the role of marshals for this purpose. Tubar.com